Hi there, I am Dr. Mark Heisig here in Scottsdale, Arizona and virtually in Washington State. I help you with your brains, your pains, your performance so that you can engage in your sport, your work, your life fully and healthy on purpose. So today we're going to talk about, we're actually going to go through a blog that I posted back on March 14th of 2021. We're going to look at imaging in concussion. So what does a clean CT or MRI mean after a concussion? It means everything and it means nothing. So let's talk about that. Um, we're going to talk about it in the context of two statements that actually get thrown around a lot for patients. Um, and the confusion that those statements make and create probably contributes to PCS to some degree. Um, so I've had far too many patients pass through reputable universities, reputable clinics, reputable areas, um, only to get told one of two things from these doctors. One, your CT is clean probably didn't sustain a concussion. And then two, your CT is clean, you need to rest until your symptoms go away. How do I recommend we look at these two statements? Because both of them have big flaws. So notes on statement one, part of the diagnostic, well, so back up a little bit, notes on statement one. Statement one was, your CT is clean, uh, you probably didn't sustain a concussion. So notes on statement one, part of the diagnostic criteria in concussion is that you have clean imaging. To say that you didn't sustain a concussion based on clean imaging is wrong. Um, so a concussion is a functional injury. Functional meaning it's not going to show up on imaging. It's caused by acceleration, deceleration forces that get transmitted to your head. So it doesn't have to be your head, but the force gets transmitted to your head and jolts your brain. Because your brain has white and gray matter, they're different densities and they move at different speeds during that acceleration and deceleration event and the brain tissue stretches and it shears, but it doesn't tear and it doesn't bruise. How do we know? How do we know that a concussion doesn't bruise or tear your brain? Because your imaging is clean. Again, if your imaging is clean, it doesn't rule out a concussion and it doesn't even rule it in. So how's that for you? The diagnosis of concussion is actually clinical that many factors have to come together to confirm it. You need a mechanism of injury, you need symptoms, you need a certain symptom severity, you need physical exam findings, and you're gonna have clean imaging. So first statement is kind of just confusing. Second statement is your CT is clean, you need to rest until your symptoms go away. I've already posted a couple videos on this, but you do not need to rest until your symptoms go away. The longer you rest and hibernate, the longer you can actually expect your symptoms to linger and, and to prolong. Far too many doctors still think that rest is best after a concussion, even though we've had three consensus guidelines and, and more coming that are now recommending no more than 48 hours of relative rest until you begin graded exercise and a concussion rehab program and symptom limited activity. Exercisers just recover faster. So when we're looking at symptom limited activity or symptom limited rest, you're looking at a 10 point scale. So you're not gonna allow your symptoms to increase more than two points on that 10 point scale. So you're encouraged to walk your dog, you're encouraged to hang out with your friends, you're encouraged to scroll TikTok, to read a book, uh, to sit outside, to do the things as long as your symptoms don't flare or don't increase more than two points. So note on that scale, 10 is feeling your worst, you feel like an absolute dumpster fire, zero is feeling your best, no symptoms at all. Uh, one little safety note, because I haven't talked about this yet, is do not drive as the driver in the first 24 to 48 hours after your concussion. I might do another video on that another time. But again, in the, the acute phase, relative rest for 24 to 48 hours, and then after 48 hours, uh, begin symptom-limited activity. Why does symptom-limited activity make sense? Because we want to provide a graded exposure until you're able to integrate yourself back into your daily life. Imagine a broken arm. So if I break my arm and I just rest until it magically heals and regains full strength, I'll be waiting forever. I need to rehab my arm. Similarly, you need to rehab your brain after a concussion. It's a functional injury and we can do lots of things to help it out. So a recap on these statements. Statement one, remember in concussion, we expect clean imaging. Concussion diagnosis is confirmed by clean imaging, relevant injury mechanisms, symptoms, and physical exam findings. So clean imaging doesn't rule out a concussion. It doesn't even actually rule it in. Statement two, you, your CT is clean. You should rest until your symptoms go away. Rest is actually not best. The best thing that you can do after your injury is to safely grade and gradually expose your, your life activity exposure um, while beginning an appropriate concussion rehab program. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about concussion and PCS, go ahead and give my account a follow. Thank you.